Little Miss P, their third day review. Well, most women are visited by Little Miss P once a month. When it comes to the manga series, for the yearly schedule, after Volume 2's release in August 2020, enough time has passed where he's we're not able to read Volume 3 of this quickly series. As always, this entry in the series is made up of episodic stories, but unlike Volume 2, there is more series to running drunk them. The book opens with a story about a young model who is fired due to her skin condition not being good enough to the day at the photo shoot. Of course, this is because of Little Miss P, and her model is understandably frustrated with the fact a model must always be flawless, and if they aren't, then surely he did something wrong rather than being due to a factor outside his control, as this is. The second story takes more of a fantastical twist and it focuses on the hero and the princess he marries after fighting on the demon lord. The two enjoy their lives together but after a year passes, the relationship starts to become stale and the hero realizes he doesn't ever know how to look after the princess in her time of need. It's a thoughtful read of what it means to be in a long term relationship after the shine has worn off. Our third chapter is about the young woman who is trying to get into the film industry which unexpectedly falls pregnant with the boyfriend who is only working part-time and the fact it would mean too much time off from her job. She's nervous about the thought of having a child right now, with no one else to turn. She asks her family for advice on what to do. The other stories include her involve a girl going on the first day with on her period, part-timing as sure many of us can sympathize with, and the manga artist is looking for advice on how to write his female characters. The story is probably the mo one that feels the most out of place in this particular collection since in a while. It's also well written. It is a quiet fit with the other emotional themes presented this time around. The final tale of this collection is Jap based on a real experiment where the Japanese department store asked women to wear pin a pin that let customers and their work co workers know they were in the period. Andre did ultimately decide to rethink the concept. The manga does illustrate the pros and cons of it well. This one also made me, led me to learn about the menstrual leave policy that Japan has asked and why women often don't want to take it. The chapter as a whole well, demonstrates why talking about periods openly is important, though also why some people are so preserved about the subject of they refuse to do so. It's certainly the most thought-provoking story in this collection, and I appreciate the fact it tackles something based on true life as opposed to some of the more whimsical stories in series of the presents. Having said that Little Miss P has been a lot more down to earth this time around compared to Volume 2, since there are as many supernatural storylines, it's easier to relate to the wolves of the cast, which is what I like always like about volume 1, have become a long way for just focusing on periods. The decision to branch out, the branch out into other emotional and physical problems that are roughly related to it is a, is a good one. Little Miss P, the third day, comes to the West thanks to Yen Press and it continues to be translated by Taylor Engel. The translation reads well with no issues to note, and there are a few pages of very helpful translation. Notes at the back of the book. The series recently finished in Japan with volume 4. Which Yen currently has scheduled for release in January, so we won't have the long to wait to see how the series draws to a close. Overall, Little Miss P, the third day, is an interesting read that captures the charm of the original book more than Volume 2 did. If you're a fan of the series, you certainly enjoy what it offers and learn a thing or two along the way. 9 over 10.